show full of aha moments lined up for you and we unpack that starting now my name is violet angina jina langu ni manuel terere nyuma yangu kuna mandhari safi kabisa mandhari yenyewe ni ya kahawa karibu sana tusanzuke kandi tama tufike tamati kuna mengi tumekuandalia kuhusiana na masuala ya kahawa mkononi mwangu tayari na ua na vile vile mbuni nasikia kwamba ni siku yako ya kuzaliwa si it's my birthday <laughs> Let me tell you. So I to pumui. No, you can't uh, breathe. Uh, okay. And then you know I'm turning. Uh-huh. I'm turning 20, 29. Uko ngoja ngoja. Mbona leo umeamua kisichana waseni mara nyingi? Let me tell you why. Relax. Uh-huh. I'm turning 29 and this uh-huh. is the last year uh-huh. when as a woman uh-huh. you'll feel comfortable saying your age. Uh-huh. From next year I'll just being plus 1. Uh-huh. Plus 1 plus one because kwanza hapo sasa mzee imeanza kuingia so say because i'm in my 20s it's so easy for me to say oh hi i'm talented 29 you know like in kwanza next year you plus be plus one eh uh, so plus one au au ongea utaki watu wajue hata from next year yeah. this year i'll say because you know 20 still feels fresh young you know but no. kwanza next year mm-hmm. you're outside so unanimbia ama sasa hiyo sinajua kweli nina shida ya tunasema uh, sauti yangu ina madondo kusema kweli na shida sana inakuruzika happy birthday to you thank you Dime tosha umesikia umesikia kwamba eh, ina, ina madende sauti yangu ni madende kweli kweli na sumbua lakini asante sana kwa kukubali kujiunga nasi kuna mengi tumekuendelea lakini sasa tuzungumzie masuala ambayo yanahusiana makala ambayo umeandaliwa na ngina Another day, another interesting feature to learn a lot more when it comes to coffee farming. Now we have been bringing you stories from different coffee farmers in different parts of the country, and most of these farmers are in areas that experience good climatic conditions all through the year. Today we want to twist things a little bit. We are in Machakos County where we will be speaking to a farmer who has been doing coffee for over 30 years. Now you understand Mach Chakos County is one of the arid areas in the country and for coffee to grow successfully it needs to be in good climatic condition so what agricultural practices what smart practices are these farmers in these areas putting in place to make sure that coffee thrives we get to find out right now with our coffee farmer of the day come along with me let's meet Simon <music> Asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa kwa shamba yako. Tunataka kuzungumzia masuala ya kahawa. Kwanza tuambie ulianza kufanya kahawa wakati upi? Mimi nilianza kahawa tuseme mwaka wa 1997. Nikiwa mchanga sana nilikuwa wakati huo nilikuwa secondary school. Nilikuwa introduced kwa kahawa na my mother tangu hiyo wakati hata mpaka saa hii niko kwa kahawa. Sasa mtueleze wakati ulikuwa kijana mdogo, unajua vijana anakuanga na hii mipango ya nikimaliza kusoma nitaenda mjini nitafute kazi wakati mama alikuingiza katika masuala ya ukuzaji wa kahawa. Ulijihisi vipi? Kwa hiyo wakati mimi si kuona kama ni mambo mbaya na nilikuwa nikiona ikituletea chakula ya kila siku. Niliingia tu kwa kahawa lakini afuta kumaliza shule nikaacha kahawa nikaenda nikaingia jijini nikasaulika kwanza na kahawa kidogo wakati nilienda huko nikapata mapato ya huko ni kidogo sana ikanibidi nirudie ile shamba yangu ndio mapato yesa ienze iongezeke tena right. yeah. sawa wakati ulikuwa unachukua shamba hii ya kahawa ilikuwa na bushes ngapi na site kona ngapi kama 600 na kwa saa utu kwa about 900. Mm-hmm. Tumeongi, nimeongezea kama 300 mm-hmm. tangu hiyo wakati. Mm-hmm. Atueleze hapa kwa hii shamba unapanda aina gani ya kahawa? Tunafanya SL28 na Mbatian. Mbatian tumeipanda sehemu mwingine ya mlima na inaona inafanya mzuri pande hii. Mm-hmm. So mm. kuna hiyo SL28 tunafanya pia na Mbatian lakini pia kuna ile Riru 11, kuna SL34. Kwa nini muliamua kuendea SL28 na Mbatian lakini si hizo zingine? Mimi sinja kuwa sinja wai panda lo ilo 11 lakini naona inafanya mzuri sehemu mwingine lakini kwa vile naona hizi SL28 sinafumilia mbaridi na sinafumilia ile njua kali ya ya pande ya Machakos nikaona ni mzuri. 
Mm. Unajua sana sana watu akisikia machakos wanajua he uko kumekauka hakuna mvua lakini wewe uko hapa unapata kahawa na kahawa yako inafanya vizuri. Ni nini haswa kama mkulima wa kahawa unazingatia kuhakikisha unaendelea na kazi yako ya kukuza kahawa vizuri? Oh. Ukitaka saa nyingine lazima uvune maji. Ile maji inashikimbia kwa barabara lazima uvune ama ile inatoka kwa nyumba kwa mambati ile una haja nayo lazima uchimbe mitaro kwa shamba ndio upate sakati mfua imeenda hiyo mitaro ikiwa na maji itakusaidia baadaye wakati wa kiangazi ni wakati gani ambao unatumia mbolea hii unatoa kwa ngombe na wakati gani ndio unatumia chemical fertilizer mbolea ya ngombe naweka kutoka mwezi wa saba mpaka mwezi wa kumi. kwa vile mvua huku kwetu inaanza mwezi wa kumi mpaka mwa January kutoka January tena inakuja kuanza tena March up to June sasa tunakuanga na season mbili za mvua sasa inabidi wakati wa kiangazi ndio tunaweka mbolea ndio anze kuchimbia ndio ingie huko ndani na wakati naweka fertilizer ni wakati mvua imeanza tuseme March na saa nyingine tunaweka mwezi wa kumi kumekuwa na mikakati ya serikali kuhakikisha kwamba wakulima wanapata subsidized fertilizer. Wewe kama mkulima hapa Machakos County, umeweza kufanikiwa kupata subsidized fertilizer? Kutuseme tumefanikiwa kupata lakini si vile. Fertilizer yenye tunapata kwa saa hii tunapewa fertilizer na society. Coffee factory society. Serikali ikiungana na societies itafaidi mkulima sana. Ni mbinu gani hapa kwa shamba unatumia kufanya water harvesting. Mimi kwa saa hii kuna kwa barabara zetu zile ziko kando na shamba yangu. Siko na maji mingi sana inatiririka. Nimeenda nikachimba kwa barabara, nimeweka bamsu huko na imeichimbia kwa mtaro inakuja inaingia kwa shamba. Vile 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 nimechimba kisima kwa kawa yangu. Wakati wa kiangazi naona ile mti imeshindwa na imebeba kawa mingi na inyunyusia kiasi. Tumezungumza na wakulima tofauti nchini na wanafanya harvesting twice a year. Hapa Machakos mnafanya harvesting mara ngapi? Sana sana tunapata once per year. Na saa zile mvua imekuwa mzuri kama wakati huu tunapata mara mbili. So with one coffee bush unaweza pata kama kg ngapi? Tuseme naweza pata 2 to 8 kilos. Hmm. E, kama unavyoiona saa hii inakuonyesha kama saa hii kuna ile ile iko karibu kufunwa imembagisha tuseme miezi miwili itoke kwa shamba na kwa ile kuna ile sasa late crop ndio hii imeanza kutoka kwa shamba ndio imeanza kutoa maua hii ndio late crop ndio inakuja kutakuja kutolewa mwezi wa tisa. Uh-huh. na the main harvesting iko mwezi upi main harvest ni nakuanga mwezi wa tatu mpaka mwezi wa saba Tuzungumzie wakati huo wa harvesting. What are some of the challenges unapitia kama mkulima? Challenges zenye tunapitia ni mingi sana sana. Tuseme wakati wa harvesting, saa hiyo kawa inakuanga mingi na mkulima ana ila ela ya kwenda kuitoa kwa shamba. Inakubidi either uuze kuku ama chenye kikombo kwa mboma ndio upate ela ya kwenda kutoa kwa kahawa na wengine wanaenda wanatoa hiyo kahawa kwa shamba wanaiuza ndio wapata ela ya kuja kutoa ile ingine. na ukitaka kuleta watu wa kusaidia hapa kwa shamba kufanya harvesting wao wanawalipisha kama pesa ngapi We, wanalipisha kutoka asubuhi saa mbili mpaka saa nane wanalipisha mia tatu. Pande. Pande. Mm-hmm. na kutoa isha kahawa yangu kwa shamba tuseme pande lazima ni kuwa na wafanyi kama wafanyikazi kama 15 to 20 ndio nitoe kama kilo kwa hiyo wakati natoa cheri kama ya kilo kama 2000 ama 1300 mm. na kwa sasa mnapata kama pesa ngapi kwa kilo last season tulilipwa 58 per kilo sasa hiyo naona tumeanguka sana tukipewa 80 shillings naona kila mtu hata wengine wanyawana kaao watapanda Naona pia umeeka uh, migomba ya ndizi. Mm, yenye nimeeka migomba ya ndizi na makandamia mm. saa ingine inatusaidia wakati wa njua. Inatusaidia kupea hizi miti wakati kuna njua mingi imeekewa iko na shed. Inatusaidia kama inatusaidia wakati kama hiyo. Wakati ingine inatusaidia wakati kahawa hakuna makandamia ndiyo nauza na pata pesa. Mazdizi na nauza na pata pesa. Unapata sitengemei kahawa peke yake. Na njua hiyo ni njia moja unatumia katika ku deal na swala ya climate change. Ni mikakati gani nyingine unaweka at a farm level to make sure that you're dealing with the issues of climate change? Saa hii imeaffect kila mtu na iko tulikuwa tunaisikia kama ni ndoto saa hii naona kama si ndoto kama la season 
wengine wengi wao ikawa likaugia kwa shamba kwa vile wako na mbinu ya kujua venye wataifanya mimi yangu nilikuwa na chota maji niko na kisima mtu naweka 20 liters per week ndio imbudi hiyo kawa iweze kukomaa vizuri ndio niitoe nipeleka kwa 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 factory lakini kwa wakati huu yenye naweza ambia wakulima wachimbe mitaro kwa shamba vizuri na wachukue maji yenye inatiririka ovyo ovyo hiyo uh-huh. ndio itatusaidia kupigana na hii mambo ya climate change uh-huh. kama njana tulikuwa na CS akatuahidi mambo mzuri na tutaona kama itakuwa uh-huh. ametuahidi akatuambia tukipeleka tu cheri tukifikisha kwa factory tutakuwa tunapewa 40 shillings uh-huh. after two ikisiagwa ikuwa ikukua parchment kabla yende kwa mill tutapewa 40 shillings nyingine ikuwa ite shillings after ikiuzwa watajua kama atatuongezea kitu kulingana na kawa yetu mm. lakini ile pesa kidogo sana alituahidi ni 80 shillings kitambo kawa ilikuwa na pesa na i, wakati ilikuwa na pesa wakulima walikuwa wengi lakini saa hii venye wametaja 80 shillings naona wengine wa sasa wameanza kurudi kwa shamba kwa vile wameona pesa imeanza nini imeanza kurudi wewe kama mkulima ambaye amekuwa akifanya mambo hii kwa miaka 30 ni maswala gani ambayo ungependa yapewe kipaumbele ili iweze kuwasaidia wakulima hapa Machakos County ile mambo ya muhimu sana baada ya kazi lazima upate pesa na hii kawa kama una pesa watu wengi watahepa kabisa ile mambo ya vice president aliongelea njuzi ya kufukuza mbrokers kwa kahawa. Surely walimetuumiza ukweli. Lakini saa hii venye vice president amesema atawafukuza tukipata haki yetu. Tunajua hii mambo itatusaidia sana sisi wenyewe wakulima. Ni nini hicho hasa kinachokufanya ukwamilie katika ukuzaji wa kahawa? Mimi nimekwamilia kwa kahawa kwa vile kitu ya kwanza ile tukianza nilikwambia nimelelewa kwa kahawa kwa vile chenye niko nacho saa hii kimetoka kwa kahawa. Inanjifunia kwa sababu ile masomo iko kwetu ile masomo niko nayo imetoka kwa kahawa. Nikitaka ile ela mingi na ipatanga kwa kahawa. Siri moja ni hii. Kahawa si kusema niko na kahawa. Siri ya kahawa ni kuwa na kilo. Ukiwa na kilo mingi ndipo utaenda na pesa mingi. Tuseme hata saa hii tu, tuseme tu, tupewe ngiri moja pa kilo. Wao kiwa na kilo mbili utambeba ngiri mbili. Na mimi nikiwa na kilo tuseme 1300 yanakuwa nafuna ama 1500. Sitapepa pesa nitapepa nitapepa pesa mingi. Kabisa. Uh, umetuambia kwamba ni mama ali kuintroduce katika mambo ya kahawa. Ukiwa kijana mdogo, wewe sasa umeweza kufundisha wengine wadogo so that pia wewe wakati utakuwa na retire tuhakikishe hii legacy inaendelea. Saa hii nimengangana kabisa. Niko na youth mwenzangu. Niko via pia sahii sehemu hii tuko na women in coffee. Kawa kitambo tuseme ilikuwa ya wazee. Ndipo sasa mwanamke akiingia kwa hii mti haitapotea. Na sasa tukimalizia zungumza na kijana pale nyumbani na mama pale nyumbani kuhusiana na umuhimu wa kujitosa katika mambo ya ukulima. Kwa kawa si ya wazee. Nataka kuwaambia hivi. Warudi kwa kawa, warudi kwa shamba. Kawa iko na pesa. Ile wakiingilia tu kwa kahawa atapata pesa kama saa hii serikali imeamua kutushikilia vilivyo kweli kweli warudi kwa kahawa kahawa iliko na pesa wataona manufaa yake asante sana simon yes. thank you so much for talking to us allowing us to come to your farm and keep up the good work that you're doing in machakos county pia nyinyi karibu tena na tena na tena thank you so much mm-hmm. now there you've had it straight from simon a coffee farmer right here in machakos county who has been in the business for 30 years plus and he has raised pertinent issues on what they need now a special request to the government let's not just focus on specific areas when it comes to coffee farming but also understand that right here machakos kuna kahawa and they need your help as well keep watching kenya's gold we do have a lot more on all matters agriculture
ni makala mazuri kweli kweli angalia watu machakos mara nyingi tumewazoea wakiwa katika tatizo la ukame lakini sasa makala ambayo umeandaa yanafafanua pakubwa sana kwamba unaweza haijalishi ulipo absolutely inspiring and just so great to see how the people in machakos county are going out of their way to make sure that they continue with coffee farming and it's very important that the government aids them help as well however for now it's our time to take our fast commercial break but don't go anywhere because when we come back we do have a gold conversation on location with the West Pokot governor you do not want to miss out on that also we do have agronation and a lot more see you after the short break <laughs>